And in the studio with us here today, we've got Mr. Carlos Stein. Yeah! How the devil are you? Oh, very well, thank you. <laughs> I have to say, it's good to see you here, um, Carlos. Yeah, I never thought I'd make it. No, I know. Well, I have to say, your, um, your, I was just saying earlier, wasn't I? Your, your, your style of music is quite interesting. My genre. It's, <laughs> it's not the usual run-of-the-mill stuff one, one gets on the radio stations. Well, I tend to get pigeonholed into um, um, alternative, which, um, and by mm. alternative, I don't mean weird or freaky. But I mean, um, it's just any other genre seems to get um, chucked into there. So, so it's, it's a big bucket, really, isn't it? Yeah. A big bucket full of just general types of music. Yeah, and, um, you know, it, it, unless you're at the top of that bucket with your you know, arms out saying, look at me, look at me, then it's difficult to get recognised. Mm. So it's, it's tough. It is. But your, your music I was, is, is quite comedic, isn't it? You put on a good comedian type of show well yeah the thing is I don't go out to be funny it's, uh, oh. it's uh, a reviewer said this once and he said um, oh what you do is funny I said well I didn't intend that I'll, you know just tell me what it is I'm doing and I'll do more of it is that because you're naturally a funny chap now I mean you've got songs like Big Fat Bankers and stuff like that you know that's hilarious when you when you're listening to it, it really is. Well, Especially well, when you do your preamble before before the song. Well, I wrote that in anger, actually. I was in court at the time, in a, oh a, a Majesty's <laughs> Court, um, being accused of owing £9,500, and they wanted half of our house, and I was really angry. Good I wanted to write a song and you know, publish it to the world. That's why I do that song at every gig, oh. just to let people know. It's, yeah, it's basically about the financial stuff, um, the, the financials. The people that are responsible um, for the state that the country's in financially at the moment, isn't it? Bankers and stuff, um, those down in London. Yeah, and as time traders. goes on, the lyrics uh, seem more and more fitting. I mean, I wrote yes. about two or three years ago. Oh. Um, you know, the, the, the lyrics are still still prominent now in everyone's minds. You know. Yeah, because you can always relate to them, can't you? How long have you been an artist for? Um... I've been, well, if we go back 20 years, I was started off playing bass guitar and making my own songs on a, a Tascam 4 track. You must have been um, in your nappies then. <laughs> 44. <laughs> oh, right, blimey, oh, ageing well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, I gave that up because I, I, uh, I got fed up of jamming on my own. And then um, about 20 years later, I thought I'll, I'll start off again and picked up a harmonica and got into that and thought I'll have to build some music around that. And then here we are now. Because mm. you're, like you're like a one-man band, aren't you? You've got your harmonica, is it held suspended somehow, and some, some arms, and then you've got your cello, your bass, which is quite impressive, I have to say, to look well, at your electric cello <laughs> thing. Is, is there a drum on your back <laughs> no, as well? All oh, right. But, I mean, there's all sorts of bits that you play, don't you, during some songs? Yeah, um, you have to get your idea out of the mind of a, a one-man band with a, you know, harmonica holder and a, a yeah. drum on his back and the p a pedal and stuff. I use a, a loop machine That's true. for the majority of the songs. Mm. Um, and I play the harmonica in between the, the vocals, which is called the middle eight, the instrumental section and uh, various layers of vocals. I've got three vocal ranges. That loop machine is particularly impressive, isn't it? Because it um, does... Make you, it makes you... gives it a whole load of depth. You record bits, record other bits, and then play them over and over and over again. It sounds like you're on a, with a full band. Yeah, it's, it's, it's only let me down once. Um, that was at Hinkley. Oh. <laughs> but it let me down just at the right time, right at the end of the song when I was doing... Well, I was acting really weird anyway, so it, it was quite fitting. <laughs> Are you playing at Ox Jam? Ox Jam, yes, tonight actually. Are you looking forward to it? I am, because I haven't done a gig for a whole month. You're at 10 o'clock, I think, aren't you? Um, 10 that 15. I think the lineups might have been a bit uh, muddled around now because someone's dropped out and Dave Parking is. Well, he was offering, uh, offering uh, open mic slots. Don't know if he still is. Oh. Would you do that as well or, or not? Open mic? Yeah. No, I'll do my bit and then All right. hang around for a bit. <laughs> what venue are you in tonight? Uh, the Basement Bar. Oh, right, yeah. Wellington Street. Wellington Street. So is that that's over near the marketplace or something? Um, is it opposite the old library? Yeah. Near the is it called the Pen and Wig near there? I don't know. Whatever it was called. Pig and 
pig, pig. It's, there is pig in it, isn't there? Anyway, just down from Ray, Raynard's, that sort of area, yeah, over the other side of town. Oh, it'll be good. Have you been to Ox Jam today at all? No, not yet. No, oh, I've right. been there. doing some rehearsals and uh, getting ready. Mm. Have you always wanted to be an artist? Um, no, I wanted to be an electronics engineer. Um, I aspired to um, a guy that could fix anything, and I thought, I want to be him. And so I got to that, that stage, and I thought, this is, I'm bored of this now. Uh, I need another, something else to focus on. Um, have you ever been in a band then? Well, like, or was you always, have you always been in a, uh, a solo artist? I was in a blues band called the Beliac, so I'm still good friends with. Oh. Uh, and they're still on the circuit. Um, I was playing harmonica for them. Does, would you say that music runs in the family? Um, not really, no. I've kind of thought it on myself. Are you planning to, like, do anything big next year? Because obviously there's Ox Jam, that's really big. Um, it Gaston Budget! <laughs> it, it all depends on, um, you know, how people people see me. And, uh, I mean, a lot of bookings now are from requests. So I, I don't really go out looking for that many gigs. I could imagine you're a little bit weird for some festivals, or for a lot of festivals, aren't you? Weird, then, until, <laughs> until they see me play. And yeah, then, absolutely, I mean, then they love I, it. I have various different styles, two yeah. or three different styles. You could put into different genres, but if you want to encompass the whole lot into a genre, it's, it's difficult to Impossible. pinpoint one. Should we, should we play, play a song, then, coming up? Made in Leicester on Takeover Radio.
Leicester All Stars. This is KY. Hi, I'm Molly from Stem. You're locked into Takeover Radio. Leicester's biggest radio station. Mate in Leicester. Kevin. Yes. It is that time. No. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Yeah, no. The Quiz of Doom. Dum dum dum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was all right. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is the point of the show where you, Carlos asks either me or Kevin lots of questions, as many as he can, in 30 seconds. And if you ask Maya, you get bonus points. That isn't true. Right, can I, can I alternate between the two? Yeah, no. 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 no, no. Oh. The rules are very strict. Okay. So I'll, who I'll are you? Ask Kevin, I'll, I'll yes. Right, get in. Right. Get in. I Can I have the I sheet, it. please? I suppose. Thank you. Your time starts. Hang on. Actually, who's okay. keeping time? All right. The time starts uh, now. Oh, it's me. now. Yeah. Right. How old is Maya? Seventeen. That's what not school did she go right. to? Uh, Leicester Infirmary. What? <laughs> That's the hospital. I don't know. <laughs> have you got the instruction book for that camera? Yes. Where is it? At home. How long have you been into photography? Uh, 30 years. How old are you? 72. Have you got a car? Yes. Why? Because um, it gets me from A to B quite quickly and cheaply. How many gears on your bike? T- t- ten. Stop! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight oh. questions you only got. That's oh, it was well. a poor start, wasn't it? Did it, did it, did it, did it. Oh. Okay. Nice try. And yeah, nice try. Anyway, it was hard because you had to beat twenty. What was it? Thirty-three. No one. Oh no, sorry. That. Oh right. Uh, no, it was actually eleven. You had to beat. Which no was one. It was wow. twenty. Oh, it was twenty-three. Who's that? Uh, Adam Muhammad. We had sure? last week. Oh, right. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, yes. Okay, did he? I've just seen him. Yeah. He didn't tell me. 23. That's yeah. incredible. Because he he asked me, he was like, what comes after one? Two. What comes after two? Right. Yeah. It's, it's He's just clever, isn't easy. he? Easy. Yeah. And, I, <laughs> and he was sitting there probably thinking with a pen. I was like, bless him. Oh. Anyway, did you enjoy that? Yes. Yeah, so Even though you lost. You took me by surprise, so I, I wasn't expecting it. Okay. If it was, I, I would have won this. I would have known it. Mm. Obviously. Obviously. What's that book you got there? Oh, the book here. Um, I decided to change the rules slightly, and um, what? I'm not loud enough. No, you're not loud enough. Hello. That's yeah, speak louder. That's a, Shout. Yeah. One two. One two. Wait. Yeah, that's fine. That's I fine. decided to change the rules slightly, and um, um, so the r- new rule is now an artist comes in, they have to bring a prop associated with their set uh, just to promote it, and then what comes into this show. Oh, yeah. All oh, right, okay. Okay. So, so um, you're setting up a new rule for our show. Yeah. I know. Right. So mine is this, um, at first glance, looks like a Bible, but it actually the says... Holy unbi- the, the Unholy Bible. Okay, very no, nice. Yeah, and I read it again, the Unholy Bible. Bright. Um, oh, I thought it said Bible. No, I use this in a song in which um, I play a um, urban contemporary uh, gospel preacher. Um, and talking? he's a bit of a con man, this guy. And one of his cliches is... Uh, Give your money to me, I shall pass it on to the Lord. Because that's what the Lord says. Uh, yeah! Woo! And uh, I, don't, I don't know if you can see this. There's, um, There's a light inside the book. The book has light. Okay, that's. that's translates to radio. Cool. It also it's it's a very illuminated book. Yes. So your face, if, if it was a dark auditorium, your face would be lit up right now and you'd be reading it, that. Not that it's not anyway. <laughs> no. Well, not that it isn't dark. Well, I'll just turn the lights off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that's uh, the effect, anyway. Anyway, if you got well to done. perform anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, anywhere in the world. Um, where was the chance? When... Leicester's a good place to perform. No, it ain't. Don't even all. say Did Leicester. All. What? That's, that's Out of dream, anywhere in the world? I haven't got really any dreams like that. You know, I'm, you know, oh, I'm easy going. You know, just get one of these tracks recognised by the media. So not even like the O2 Academy. Oh, right, O2. Oh no, no arena. I mean in London. Buckingham Palace. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't think the good. Queen would. She might do. What are you trying to say, Maya? That she wouldn't really. You don't know what she's into. She might. She might love. She might be listening right now, and she might yeah, think that car lost really good sounds. Uh, this live looping is rather <laughs> good, is it? What? What? <laughs> That's what I said. I bet she's thinking that right now. Queen. <laughs> Give me two artists that you dislike. Dislike? No, I'm not going to say that because uh, I like everybody. To. You have to. 
gosh. One direction. Just putting ideas in my mouth. One direction then. Yes, it's my favourite band. And Justin Bieber. Um, That's a my other favourite band. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So you're going with that One Direction and Justin Bieber. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's a, a typical example of someone I wouldn't sort of go out of my way to listen to. Okay. Out of Justin Bieber and One Direction, who would you rather make a song with? Uh, I think One Direction because I could uh, bully the rest of them into persuading me to do certain parts, you know. Okay, yeah, I suppose One Direction is more famous than Justin Bieber anyway. So, yeah. is that is that your strategy then? Well, you did put me in a spot in the position. Okay. Then. Not that I've ever worked with One Direction at all. Okay. Yeah. Um, would you like to though? Yeah, no. Would you like to? If they came to me and they insisted on it, then I'd say yeah, okay, then you know, and turn them off. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I know. I see your point. Who are your inspirations? My inspirations um, probably predate you. Um, who are they? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I, I don't even know uh, who they are. Stranglers, uh, a lot of um, the post-punk bands. Oh my god, um, who are they? I'm with you there. Oh, well, I used to follow Hot oh, Wings. Classic. Um, I don't even know who they are. Um, I've said Stranglers, haven't I? Yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, There's a massive list of them. Black Sabbath. I mean, the list is so is so diverse. You said punky Sex Pistols. Actually, that's the thought. Burning Clint, it's all about punky. Ian Dewey, well, what were we talking about? Sorry? Ian Dewey. Yes, brilliant. I was going to say, talking about punk, we've got um, Burning Clintons are on later on tonight at uh, Ox Jam at, uh, in the Sound House. Actually, that's what I like about Ox Jam. Diverse range of music as well. You've got some of the venues, you've got acoustic stuff. Other venues, you've got rock indie. Other ones, you've got, well... You. And did I mention <laughs> that we're um, in the basement are uh, kicking off the Ox Jam party tonight? Oh, brilliant. So there's a handful of us David Parkin, um, One Suspicious Monkey. Um, One Suspicious Monkey, is that a band? That's a group it band. is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good as well. Yeah, what yeah. a cool name. Um, and myself, and I think the other one dropped out. There's a, an open mic slot going, so there'll be two or three artists, no doubt. Open mic, so there. like, what's brilliant. that? That's normally, say, a 15-minute slot where someone comes up and um, just does their stuff. Just yeah, just the what they can do. OK. Anyway, it's been absolutely great having you on the show. Are you going to play another one of songs? I can't get it on. Look, it's can't locked for some reason. I'm going to tell, tell, tell that cue off. We'll play it in a bit, probably. Yeah, we'll definitely play it in but a I bit. Can't wait to see you later. Roughly can't 10 wait. o'clock, 9 to 10-ish, yeah, in the basement, yeah. Ox Jam. I'll be there. Excellent, I look forward to that. And you listeners, be there. Yeah, or else. else. Or Carlos will be chasing or, you. Yeah, Carlos will chase you. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. It's been lovely. For more information on this artist, visit takeoverradio.com forward slash made in Leicester. <laughs>
Turn the beat up. If you love music, you got different uh, types of music. You love music. Take over. You're listening to Takeover Radio. Back soon.